Hey everyone, it's Press here and today I will give you an analysis on the 4-5-1 formation in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. So what we have here is, of course the 4-5-1, actually a hated formation it seems like. It seems like everyone thinks it's bad. I strongly disagree and I, all, but I also think I know why people think it's bad. So, uh, first of all, you don't have any defensive midfielders, and you have four, a four-back formation here. So, that uh, you're really not that solid defensively. It's not as solid as a four-two-three-one, or not as not not as good as a three-five-two either. So, you do have here. Uh, the centre midfielder, he is actually m way more attacking than you would think, uh, being the only player to be back in uh, the midfield. But he that he doesn't do that. He gets up all the time, but it helps out attacking wise. So I'm not complaining because this formation is so fun playing in attack. It's almost scary. So. Uh, your attacking midfielders, they will come running toward your striker if you play it up to him almost at once. And especially if you're playing a four back, uh, a guy with a four back formation, that striker will drag with him one of uh, your opponent's uh, full no centre backs. I mean, and uh, then. That means that when both of your attacking midfielders are rushing uh, into the space, if you play it to one of them, then the other one will be free because your uh, opponent really can't take them out both at the time because one of his cen centre halves are already taking out the striker and marking him. That means that you are three against two, and that will always be difficult. And Normally, uh, your opponent's fullbacks will not be able to react quick enough. But if they do, that's not a problem. Because then one of them will just get inwards and uh, cover that space. But that means that there will be loads of space for either your left midfielder or your right midfielder. Uh, so, it's really not a problem if you don't manage to get in the get through on uh, in your first wave of attack uh, then of course you can play a, I would advise, advise you to play a bit around before that uh, pass to the strikers so that your team is is up so uh, so that you can get that uh, situation with uh, your attacking midfielders rushing into that space between your opponents fullbacks and uh, center halves Defensively, you want all your uh, all your four defenders to stay back, and if you manage to do that, any four to back formation is quite solid defensively. And of course, your centre midfielder and your right and left midfielder, if you have the correct work rates, uh, will get back after a while as well. So you want low high if it's possible, but normally that's not possible for your full backs. But something like medium high. Uh, and uh, well medium medium uh, it's also fine but I don't have it in this team that I made for this but uh, yeah I, it's so good attackingly attacking wise that I don't need those play and plays and they have medium defensive work rate so they will get back in a hurry then your centre midfielder you want him to stay back uh, I think uh, my player here I I thought he had high, no low high, but uh, it doesn't uh, feel feel like that in game at all. Uh, your attacking midfielders really not important. Uh, of course, you don't want low low. You want them to uh, to be running. But uh, yeah, I would th say that anything except medium high and low high is fine. Uh, your right and left midfielders, I would actually advise them not to have a high defensive work rate in a 4-5-1. High medium, high 
maybe even high low but high medium i would say is the preferred other preferred work rates then your striker you want high low if possible but i think that as long as your striker has a high attacking work rate it's really not that important so the team i've made around the well, for this formation is a very cheap one but it is an excellent side so your Mignolet in goal for Marlon and for Tongan as my uh, centre backs. It's a Premier League side, so I don't know. They get strong links, but really doesn't matter. Then you have David Santon as a left back. Oh, I think maybe he has like a medium, medium work rate. Uh, then you have uh, Glenn Johnson. He has high medium uh, as his work rates, but he has a medium defensive work rate, so he he does get back in time. Uh, my right midfielder is Adam Johnson, a very good player indeed. Because uh, he has a pacey, I think he has high medium work as his work rates, so that's just perfect. Uh, my centre midfielder is a central defensive midfielder, it's General B. Uh He doesn't get 9 cam, but he plays very well. Anyway, so, uh, and then I have my first attacking midfielder, which is Musa Dembele. High, high work rates. You might think that that was a problem, but it's really not. He is an excellent player, and he gets forward due to his high attacking work rate. Uh, my other attacking midfielder is Philippe Coutinho. He is an excellent player. I just love playing with him. You can just run past defenders as if they weren't there. And even if, if they get... Uh, get your body his their body between you and the ball continue is just so agile like he can just get past them anyway uh if he's just an excellent excellent player and one of the few players i actually dribble with in fifa my left midfielder is uh, Danny, what's he? Uh, it is junior hoylet uh high medium as his work rate very pacey and that's basically what you need in a in a mid in a left left or right midfielder in a four five one. Uh, my striker is Andy Carroll. He is an excellent player. Uh, need to stop saying excellent player, but he is a beast. Let me tell you, his uh, shot with his left foot is absolutely outstanding, and uh, he's good in the air. He's fairly quick and. Uh, he has much better passing than uh, his 61. Uh, I can just show you here. He has five goals in three games. So that's the team. I will highlight some of the things I think is important. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy. So my opponent was a guy with uh, a 4-3-3. An excellent side. As you can see, I really need to stop saying excellent. Uh, but... He had uh, midfielders with, with very good work rates, and attackers with good work rates, and defenders with fairly good work rates, and uh, very good players as well. But it, he played a 4-3-3, and that's a 4-back formation without any defensive midfielders, and that is when the 4-5-1 is at its prime, when it get to use that space that those defensive midfielders sometimes can mark. Here though, uh, I'm showing you that you can see both Carroll and Coutinho is taking up one of his defenders and then Coutinho gets to run uh, from one of his, def I think it's Lascott, and get the ball. Fortunately, he didn't score her and neither will Dembele, but one cannot allow many uh, chances like that to the 4-5-1 without conceding a goal during a game. Here though, you can see that uh, I marked quite a lot of stuff. Not much, but some stuff. You can see that for Tongan, he's running back covering a large area there because there's no one there. So, uh, and when, uh, when Finn Percy is not quick enough, to uh, challenge for Tongan on pace, then he can cover that area without any trouble at all. Then you have uh, Glenn Johnston in the, your bottom left corner, covering that area. If 
Ben Arthur was to pass it with a lot of lots of power and make it go far, then he would take out that that space because if he wasn't, Yaya Torre, who's running, could have received the ball even though uh, Fermalen had covered quite a lot of space. Then he could have received the ball, getting a 1v1 situation, and that could possibly lead to a goal. Most likely, uh, that, that would lead to a goal, actually, I would say. And then, of course, you have Fermal covering the space between Fertongen and uh, Glenn Johnson. So, you can see how that it was never going to be a goal from that, because... My defenders were covering the space just perfectly. Uh, here though you can see that there's so much movement in the 4-5-1. Then Bella running on the other side of the pitch and getting forwards. Nearly goal there as well. Just unfortunately that it didn't end up as one. So you can see here that... Uh, this is just to show you the agility of Philip Coutinho. You can see that it's Michael Richards actually trying to push him off the ball. He has no chance at all and there is not many people in Ultimate Team that can uh, hold Michael Richards. Uh, that was the analysis though. Hope you enjoyed this. Enjoyed it. This is Pras signing out. Goodbye.